Okay, so pick five beads that you want. Over here. Five. She can count. You don't like that bumpy, lumpy one, huh? That's kind of weird, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Well, if you change your mind, you know, it's so easy to undo and redo and all that. So here's your hook that closes. You need to have, there's a bead with the hole. Whatever you use for your string has to go through that bead twice. So if I use two strands, there's going to be four strands going through that hole. So, I am going to opt to just use one strand, I think. And Colleen looks like she's going to use two strands, and it, we'll see how that works. Okay, so you choose the five beads or how many bottles of water you want to drink in a day. Set those aside. Looking at the hole, whatever string you use has to go through that bead twice. So I have two strands of leather suede strapping. Um, there will be four strands going through each bead. So with my string, I find my center with the loop. I feed that through. I don't know, there's probably a name for this kind of knot or whatever, but I just want it to come through and pull thus like so and that's just to get the beads going then you divide your beads in half or your strands in half and you are going to feed each bead in one direction and out the other so I'm going to go from right to left and pull And then I'm going to go left to right through the same bead. So there's the first bead. I've gone from this side in through there, from this side in through there. So it's right to left, left to right. And I do that all the way with all of my five beads. Okay. So all the beads are on now. And... So now what you do is you leave <clears throat> a little bit of space right here and then tie a knot. So you want to have a little bit of a loop, about the size of a bead. You want to tie a knot and then, and then you just cut off where you want to have a tassel. And here's an example of another one that was just made. This one is in blazer colors for the Portland Blazers. And you can see how there's a space and then a knot and then the length of the tassels. So when you fill your water bottle up in the morning, you slide one down and drink that bottle. And then if you fill it up for the second time, you slide down your bead. And that means that you're on bottle number two and then so on and so forth. So by the end of the day, your last bottle is this bead right here which means you still have to drink it all gone so there's one there's another and I think that's it they're pretty easy and fun to make and they make nice gifts and I'm gonna make another one I think with just one strand of uh, the leather suede and I'll show that one to you too okay so here's the third one and I, I used one strand of um, suede, and so it, it beaded up really, really fast. But what happened was, you'll notice there's only one light blue. When I pulled the knot, I pulled too tight, and the suede broke off. So I had some extra suede, and I just tied on some extra tassels. So that's what that looks like. So here we have the three um, water counters for the day, all with five beads.
And I wanted to mention the company that I got this from. I got it at Craft Warehouse, but the company is called Uptown, but and the website is called Jesse James Bead. Jesse James Beads dot com. And this is style number twenty two, and this is style number nine. So you can, um, here let me see what this other one was, this was the red and black one, um, this is style number 37. So they run about five dollars I've noticed, that's a dollar a bead, but these were on sale for three thirty three. dollars but if you're in an area where you don't have Craft Warehouse or Michaels or Hobby Lobby or whatever they're called, um, you could probably um, order them online at jessiejamesbeads.com. Anyway, if you have any questions, just post down below and I'll see what I can do to answer your questions. Alright, thanks. Bye.